next day getting late again and I have to continue working on my right front door I'm gonna remove the door panel and lubricate everything uh, window regulator and uh, door stop and I'm gonna take care of all that stuff all right so I'm about to take this panel off Alright guys, so here's the front door panel and I wanted to show you, you see this hook right here, right? Um, it goes right into there, alright? So whenever you're reinstalling this door panel on the front, uh, this hook must go on first and then you put the rest of the panel back on. Um, because otherwise you're gonna break this thing and the removal is... Uh, the reverse uh, actually you have to pull this off and then that thing is going to be the last one that you would actually have to lift it off right here because as you can see it goes in so you would have to lift it off and right now when i install it i'll just have to pop that thing in and then i'll install the rest of the panel so i'm sorry it's really late and dark and i need to get this going i need to get this uh uh, w123 uh, ready The rust pot has been soaking in the rust dissolver and also sanded it, scraped all of that to bare metal. And then as soon as, as, soon as uh, this is done, I'll be painting this stuff.
primer and paint and then obviously a fluid film. Alright guys, so I already took care of three doors on this car, uh, took the door panels out, lubricated everything, preserved everything as you guys saw, and right now I just have to do the final door which is left rear, and I also have to replace the door stop on that door because the door stop is actually no good, so I'll do that, and that's it, after that I mean everything is going to be good to go as far as the window regulators and all the other stuff, so I'm pretty excited about that. And let's get this job done. Let's finish uh, that last door panel. All right, we've got new versus old. Now, this old one is really bad, it's actually really loose, uh, it's not good anymore. Uh, and it's, it's basically broken. This one is nice and firm, brand new, and I'll also add new grease to this. Alright guys, getting late again. I'm so sorry, but uh, I'll show you the door stop. Okay, door stop is installed. As you can see, I put a protective cover on it. Uh, so it's a good idea whenever you replace these or service these door stops, make sure that it has plastic cover. It's protected from water and from getting uh, worn prematurely. So, and right here is the door stop. <laughs> I greased everything up, cleaned everything. And right now I'll show you the uh, operation of this door. Okay. Uh, Okay, right now, see, now we have everything operational, we have, you know, it's the door stops twice, uh, so this is one position, and this is second position, and then it closes, so that's amazing, I'm really happy about that, uh, we don't have any more weird noises and stuff like that, that this part was giving us, this is the old one, old door stop, and you can see, this is so loose in there you see that stuff it shouldn't be that loose and all that rust inside and no grease that's what caused these uh, to go bad so make sure you check yours and yeah like i said you can use the front um door stop uh on the rear doors uh, it's gonna work just fine okay guys so anyways right now i'm gonna start lubricating all these joints everywhere and i'm gonna taking i'm gonna take care of my uh, window regulator and like i said you know you already know everything's getting undercoated right here inside the door as well and i also just wanted to tell you that it's a good idea to actually change the rubber hoses on your vacuum door lock actuator so uh, those actually look pretty good on this car, so I'm not gonna touch them. Uh, but like I said, it's a good idea to do it that way, you know, uh, in case you can see that yours are, uh, you know, cracking or something like that. So, um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start lubricate, lubricating all this stuff and uh, uh, also the door lock itself. And uh, hoping I'm hoping to be done with this door tonight. So I lubricated the window regulator and everything, uh, but it's still having an issue. Uh, that is because people don't know how to properly close their windows. Uh, and I'll show you probably at the end of this video on how to properly close your window uh, to prevent the breakage of the window regulator itself. But uh, this regulator is actually uh, uh, bent kind of bad. Uh, I was able to inspect it from uh, right here. Uh, it's actually bent pretty bad so uh, and what it's doing right now I'm about to show you is uh, once it's going up or down it's actually binding so on when it's going up it's kind of going like this you know it's it's binding up so I have this battery right here um, 
you know connected so i don't have to reconnect this uh rear window switch otherwise you can't really activate the window motor but i'll show you how this thing you know, what is what this thing is doing but long story short i'm gonna have to remove this window regulator uh, out and i'll probably try to fix it and see what's what's wrong with it and stuff like that and um yeah that's gonna be the main priority right now um is to go ahead and take it out fix it all right so here's the uh connections they're literally uh, i'm going straight from the battery from the jumper and then uh you know you have to basically reverse the polarity uh, reverse these leads on c1 to go the window uh, once you want the window to go uh, in the opposite direction but right now we're gonna go down uh, so I'm gonna touch this to the negative uh, but um, I just want to show you how this what this window is doing so when I activate it just listen to it and try to see what it's doing uh, let's see one two three go all right see and when i go all the way down it doesn't want to go down it kind of binds up and tries to stop it's still it's still gonna go but but it's having a hard time and it's kind of like binding up so yeah that's not fun but i'm gonna remove these bolts uh right there separate the window from the regulator i'm gonna tape the window to this and then i'll unbolt the regulator itself okay the window is separated and taped up and here's the regulator and right now i'll be taking it off there's just a few 10 millimeter nuts and bolts and it will come out and then uh, there's a connector i have to disconnect the pins or i'll just have to disconnect the motor we'll see all right so i have to separate this connector in order to grab and remove those two wires uh, for the window motor that way i can take out this motor because it's already loose all right it's about to come out but the wiring goes through here as you can see so i have to actually feed this thing out so also be careful when opening these make sure that this uh you know you have to know at which wire goes where okay don't forget about that otherwise this uh will pop out and then all your wires will come out you will not know where which one goes where so just by looking at it i can see how bent this thing is see i put a lot of grease in here but it's kind of you're supposed to you must put grease here very not often but you have to remove your door panels and do the service you know um but this car hasn't been touched for 35 years i can tell you that all right guys so here's the uh window regulator and uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to make it perfect perfect but I used the vise and I actually uh, bent it back slightly you know it's not perfect it's still a little bent um, but it's a lot better so what I recommend doing is actually when you take it out uh, use a little bit of like a uh, little bit of like torch or uh, heat gun onto the place where you're gonna bend it that way this thing is not gonna crack um and uh yeah so right now uh, it's not gonna be perfect at all but it sh this should be a lot better it should uh, actually eliminate our you know binding noises because what was happening is as this was moving you know as these uh teeth were moving uh it w they were actually like rubbing against this uh, aluminum body of the regulator that's why it was binding up like that it was just really bent uh, so right now i'm gonna grease it up install the motor on it and install it back on the car in the future i'm gonna buy a new one but as of right now it's gonna serve its purpose and uh, uh, should be all good there uh, shouldn't be any noises and at the end i'm gonna lubricate everything and obviously the bottom uh, door seal is gonna be removed and we have to inspect for rust and preserve everything there as well okay the motor is connected i already tested everything and uh we're gonna be ready to install this uh, and uh, once install it I'll test it out again once it's on the car but you know the, the, it's not gonna be perfect it still might be making a couple noises here and there because when I tried to bend this uh, regular back I mean I didn't go too crazy you know I just kind of went a little bit uh, but 
other than that a bunch of grease on the teeth and stuff like that and uh, yeah good stuff guys uh, ready to install this back all right guys so everything is back in all re-lubricated we installed the window and the regulator itself and right now I'm testing it again and uh, I gotta tell you it's a lot better you know it's not perfect but it's a lot better than it used to be uh, so just look at it let's see okay and then I'm gonna switch the polarity on this and we'll try it again by going down so as you can see and you can hear uh, it's a lot better it's not as much binding because I bend that regulator the the teeth are not really hitting the body of the regulator itself right now so and also like the um, the gear of the motor is actually making a better contact right now with the teeth of the regulator so ready Okay, so I gotta tell you, it's a lot better right now, and it gets a little tough towards the end. Uh, there's some frost here, and it's actually cold tonight, pretty cold. Uh, so there's some um, when it's going down. There's actually uh, it's uh, it starts to go go slower. Uh, that's because, like I said, this regulator is really bad. It's really bent up, but I did fix it. I would say maybe like made it uh, better, like 60% than it was before so i'm really happy about that and uh right now like i said i'm gonna lift it up um and i'm gonna lubricate lubricate everything inside the door uh, i'm gonna make sure everything is nicely protected and stuff like that so and also i'll take care of all these linkages and all that so uh good stuff guys and at the end I obviously put the film back on okay guys everything is preserved and lubricated here protected from rust um, really good stuff uh, I'm really happy about that everything is great and uh, yeah I'm about to put this film back on and already lubricated all those linkages there so we're good there and uh, yeah I'll finish this door tonight So I just peeled off this, uh, uh, you know, seal on this side, on this door. And this is like the, war the worst door, actually. It's crazy. So you got to make sure you pull these seals, check for rust, clean the rust, and inspect everything. You see that? So that's crazy. But the other doors were pretty good. I mean, there's nothing wrong. Just this one. I mean, I'm assuming it's from someone trying to replace the seal or whatever, I don't know. Maybe they used a screwdriver, gouged the metal and, you know, it started. Bare metal it became rusty metal, you know. So be very careful, you know, and also be careful when pulling the seal off, okay? You use plastic tools. Okay, guys, so I started cleaning the rust, okay, right there. So, unfortunately, but some of the metal was eaten away by rust but uh, i'm cleaning it right now so everything will be good uh so after this i scraped a lot of this thing a lot of this rust off and i'll just have to apply a rust dissolver and wait a little bit so you can remove the rest of the rust um but there's no there's no rust under the door okay it's just rust behind the seal which is crazy i don't know how that's possible uh because the rest of the doors were okay so i don't know i'm thinking maybe somebody replaced the seal before and they just pried it out with a screwdriver and then it left some metal uh bare metal i don't know i mean it's hard to tell it's really crazy but i will fix it all up make it good and pre preserve this thing it will be great it will last another hundred years okay now finally when everything is dry here all the surface uh we can go ahead and start painting it i'm using this like a sponge and i'm spraying like primer on it i'm gonna dab the primer on there and then at the end after like three coats of primer i'll put uh, three coats of paint and then 
Greece and 